I've been dieting for the last five months and eating only one meal a day, and now I'm transitioning into a bulk, but I'm still planning to eat only one meal a day. But how, and why, and what am I gonna eat? I promise it's going to work, and I'm gonna explain everything, as well as show you one full 3,000 calorie meal in this video. All right, we're at the gym and starting off, I train completely fasted. So I just wake up immediately, have a bunch of water. I'm gonna have a pre-workout while I'm sitting here in the car, getting hyped up. I'm gonna keep drinking a lot more water. I'll probably finish about, this is a half a gallon, probably finish this whole thing and then another half of it during the workout. So about three quarter gallons while I'm working out. Everyone's a little different with this. Some people just cannot train on an empty stomach. Like it literally zaps energy. Other people feel better and I'm one of those people. I really, really, really like training fasted. So I'll take my pre-workout and get in there. It's a back day. <laughs> about the why so you guys know I've been cutting for about five six months and doing this eating one meal all at the end of the night thing makes it really easy because you get to save all your hunger throughout the day while you're busy you get to save all those calories for the end of the day and so I just really have gotten used to this style of eating and I just want to see if it's possible while bulking I'm not dumb I realize eating you know 150% even eventually getting up to two times 200% the amount of calories that I was eating while cutting is gonna be a lot harder in one meal but we'll see how it works, right? I'm just gonna give it a try. For me, this is a super convenient way of, of structuring my day because throughout the entire day, I don't have to worry about my food. I can just focus on working, really not have to take any breaks that take me out of my groove. And at the end of the day, I worry about all the food. So far, so good. I'm actually really loving this. We'll see how it goes as the calories go up and up and up. But already I'm getting a bigger pump from this bulk. I'm only a couple days in, I'm loving it, baby. All right, so we are back home from the gym and I wanna talk about the how. Like, how am I going to structure this whole eating only one meal a day thing? So right after I get home, I basically make myself a coffee for literally no reason other than I just am addicted to coffee lately. And then I have a scoop of the veg protein. Now, I'm not counting this as food because it's not a meal. I would say this is a snack. And also, the reason I'm doing it is really just to keep my stomach happy so it doesn't get like super empty and honestly also a little bit of bro science. The science definitely shows that it's irrelevant if you have protein right after your workout in that anabolic window, that whole bro science thing, but somewhere deep in my soul, your man's still a bro. ASMR time. All right, so it's about noon right now. I'm going to be working until probably about 7 p.m. tonight. I'll just be basically drinking tons of water. I might have sparkling water, I might have some tea. I might have one more coffee. Again, do not at me. And then finally, when I wrap up working for the day, that is when we are going to start preparing this absolutely ginormous meal. I can't wait to show you guys. All right, the chaos. It's about to begin. This all takes about 45 minutes, maybe 30 minutes, 45 minutes to cook everything. And it's a lot of food and a lot of different meals at the same time. So I think the real challenge is getting them all to come out at the same time so that they're all warm at the same time. <laughs> Cause I like to eat my food warm. Big surprise there. So obviously this is not a recipe video. You can go through my channel. I've done a lot of recipes. So I'm not gonna show you every little step, but I wanna walk you through just a little bit of the chaos that is the kitchen. This is my all-time favorite piece of kitchen equipment. This is the most heavy-duty French fry potato press. Look at this. And out comes perfect little shoestring fries. Literally the equivalent of being a restaurant. 
washing off the starches. If you do that, it makes it so that your potatoes are crispier. We're just seasoning it with a bunch of chili, a bunch of garlic. And all this just go in the air fryer. Tiny bit of olive oil spray. And it goes at 400 for about 20 minutes. All right, dude, and then this is my world famous seitan. I'll call it world famous because a lot of people really love this. Post about this a lot. I turn this into all sorts of different things, but we're gonna turn this into barbecue ribs. I will put the recipe for it up in the corner if you wanna go actually make this recipe or it's in my recipe book if you wanna support me, either way. So this just came out from earlier. All right, this is what 220 grams of seitan looks like. This is 52 grams of protein. Absolutely insane. And we'll come back to those. We're gonna put a bunch of barbecue sauce on them. I was doing that because I wanted to show you the pickles. <laughs> <laughs> They're also gonna go on that sandwich later. Uh, you my little sous chef. Hey, my sous chef. Actually, she's a very big beggar. She's gonna sit here literally puppy eyeing me until I give her food. Then we gotta have some, some veggies. And like I said, I can't get a ton of veggies in because there's so much volume already. Um, but I do like to get something that's heavy and green. So I've got broccoli in here. So come with me, come with me, come with me. I wanna show you this pro tip. So whenever you're stir frying vegetables, you don't have to do it with a bunch of oil. You can just get the pan extremely hot and then hit it with a little water. And that'll deglaze the pan. It'll also soften up the hardness of the vegetables, but you don't have to use any oil. And so we're just finishing them off with soy sauce because literally my favorite type of vegetable is just lots of soy sauce in a stir fry pan. Um, dude, now that I'm eating more calories, Bro. <laughs> one paper cut and I'm dead. All the things that are cooking, we're gonna let them keep cooking. I'll see you in about 10 minutes. All right, 10 minutes later. Lots of things are happening, so let me walk you through it. So down here we got the ribs, and we've slathered them in some barbecue sauce, and you can see like that nice bark, that, that burn almost, oh, so good. We're gonna put those on some burger buns, but moving forward over here. <laughs> so this is red lentil pasta, and if you have not explored this yet, this is like one of the best inventions ever. It's literally just red lentils as the ingredients, and there is a ton of protein in here. So this is just two servings, that's 26 grams of protein. And then last night we made some rosé sauce, which is basically red marinara sauce with uh, some cashew cream sauce, which has like onions and white wine, a bunch of stuff like that. So I'm just gonna add this. Literally running out of counter space. So I've got salad here. I've got the vegan Caesar dressing, which is so dank, you gotta try it. Been adding cranberries, which is Sam's thing. Mmm, it's so good. And not every time I have a salad, I gotta do this. Vegan Quarns, so this is the brand Quarn with a Q. They have a vegan line, because a lot of their stuff has eggs, but this doesn't. And then we have some cherry tomatoes that Sam cut up, throwing all this on top. All right, out the air fryer comes our french fries. Look at those bad boys. Oh my gosh, they're so good. So of course you gotta make the homemade guacamole. Three avocados in there. Right here I have my homemade pico de gallo, which is oh, so good. Tomatoes, onions, cilantro, limes. And then we just mash it. Also threw some onion and some garlic powder in here for a little extra taste. All right, now we're gonna assemble these carne asada fries. So good. If you've never tried Rosarita vegetarian, which is vegan, refried beans, that's where it's at. Yeah. Good technique on this, on the slapping. Of course, we gotta have some hot sauce on there. Ooh, baby. Restaurant ready carne asada fries for vegans with no carne asada. Whose curly hair could this be? <laughs> Who's the culprit there? That's you. All right, top it off. Some pickles, cap on. Oh, yes. All right. You just joined Hercules for one gigantic cooking session. All right, you do the dishes. pays off now we get to dig in also it's way too hot hold on hold on I'm sweating dude the kitchen gets hot had to take it off it was way too hot but let's also be honest that's the reason that half of you guys are here anyways all right I don't know what to dig into first all right let's check out these fries this is one of my all-time favorite 
favorite meals ever. Look at that. All right, bon appetit. Oh my gosh. Mm. All right, this one big meal, the calories is 3,261. We got 168 grams of protein, 437 grams of carbs, and 58 grams of fat. Look at this. This is one of the best recipes I've ever come up with. A little barbecue seitan. There's 58 grams of protein in these two burgers. Mmm. The pickles in there are so good. I take a bite in the microphone. You want to take a bite in the microphone? Yeah. There's a word for that, people who hate mouth noises. Yeah. It's like a something of phobia. I hate that. If I was watching this, I would leave the channel right now. All right, next up is this rose pasta. Mm. I just realized the only thing I didn't explain is this, which is 30 ounces of beet juice, celery juice, and spinach. I think that's it, right? Carrots. And carrots. You don't like my beet mustache? It's like got milk, but got beets. <laughs> That's so good, dude. Broccoli is my favorite vegetable. All right, guys, here's the thing. I don't actually eat everything in like 10 minutes. It usually takes me like an hour. Me and Sam usually sit and watch a TV show or two or something like that. So I feel like I'm trying to rush this. So I don't want anyone to accuse me of not eating this because I definitely am. I mean, like I would literally shrivel away if I didn't eat all this food. And you're gonna see me gaining a bunch of weight over the next month. But honestly, I'm in kind of like a little lungy position. <laughs> Eating it this fast sucks ass. <laughs> so I'm gonna take all of this to our bedroom and eat how I normally eat in bed. And I'll catch up with you guys after I finish. The first question I know everyone's gonna ask is how do you fit so much food in at once? And don't get me wrong, I am gonna be pretty stuffed when I go to bed, but I used to not be able to eat very much calories at all. Like maybe yeah, just like one plate of, of any of this and I would be so full. But basically over time, your stomach capacity literally increases. So you like literally stretch your stomach. And when I first started bodybuilding, I would just gorge myself with food because I had a really hard time gaining weight. And so over time, I was able to have more and more and more volume. And so this would not be possible unless I had worked up to it. And so I know someone out there is gonna ask, does this screw up your sleep? Because you know the science out there says that you really shouldn't eat right before bed. And I know that that is the science, but for me, it doesn't screw anything up. I actually sleep way better if I'm completely stuffed full. If I'm like hungry, I don't know, something about it, my brain just kind of like feels off and it takes me a while to go to bed. When it comes to eating before bed, you kind of got to figure it out on your own. If, if you can eat before bed and that's fine, then do it. If not, then try to eat like an hour before. So there you have it. I'm going to do this for a full month and then I'm going to release an in-depth video showing you how it went and what my results were. And I know you've probably got a ton of questions because a lot of people on Instagram did about things like, does this screw up insulin sensitivity? Am I hungry throughout the day? Is there a max amount of protein that a person can absorb in a single meal? All of that. So leave those questions in the comments below and I'll make sure I answer them. Maybe I'll, I'll do a full Q&A video just about these questions. But for now, give me a thumbs up if you're excited and subscribe so you do not miss it. I'll see you guys next time.